Hi guys, I am back. So I'm back with a, another YouTube video. Yes, it's been a while. Um, I think I just take these like six month breaks and then I come back and I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling it. But who knows? I've finished uni now, finally. And maybe now this means, you know, I'll stick to it. I don't know. Who knows? But I just thought I have a couple of vlogs lined up and I thought I would do a little sit down video. I'm actually inspired by um, a couple of videos I've been seeing recently. It's just like products that people have been using throughout lockdown and that they've been either obsessed with or not really just thought they would kind of talk about them um so yeah if you would like to see what products i've been using throughout lockdown um then keep on watching <laughs> the video i'm going to talk through um some makeup things that i've basically not necessarily bought i've i've already had and i've just been using them i've sort of pulled them out and i'm using them for different reasons or just some things that i've been using or i've picked up whatever so i'm gonna do makeup first and i'll move on to kind of body moisturizer and then on to skincare um skincare has obviously been the main one seen as i haven't really been wearing makeup and I've just been really concentrating on getting my skin as good as possible. Um, as most of you do know, I do work at MAC Cosmetics. So working on a makeup counter, you are exposed to a lot of makeup as soon as you're wearing it every day. Um, so that I sort of wanted to get my skin really prepped and nice to go back to work. Um, my skin hasn't been... Oh yeah, lol. Anyway, moving on. Um, I have basically basically not really been wearing makeup at all um when i have been wearing makeup it's been this really um sort of stripped back routine so let's say i am cooking a nice meal or i'm feeling bougie i want to take a nice picture or i'm going on a fancy walk fuck knows um i've been sort of doing this sort of step um so what i've been doing is taking some strobe cream this is the mac strobe cream this is in pink light um when i mean this is just honestly it gives you the most fresh like just fresh skin like how you would want your skin to look on a nice dewy sort of fresh okay i'm just repeating the same words clinique moisture surge it's an spf so this is in universal medium deep and it's got spf 25 in it so i'm into my spfs especially with it being sort of summer and now me sort of concentrating in concentrating mostly on getting my skin good so i would either just sort of mix these two together just to give myself a really sort of light wash of coverage um and yes yeah, so that's kind of what i would do for base um when it would come to like a go-to sort of every day it would be the strobe cream not a go-to every day like a go-to like makeup look if i wasn't really feeling like that like i didn't want to look like i was wearing makeup so i would literally put a little bit of strobe cream on i would brush my brows up and i would put on my ride or die mac blusher in amber and rose now this oh, it just makes my skin look like i've just come off holiday it's fresh it's glowy i love it so yeah and then brow gel this is max brow set it's a bit busted but i've had it for a while so sort of simple just a really nice fresh glow moisturizer a bit of blush and then brush up my brows um i will talk about a couple things that i have recently purchased so i read up online or saw it somewhere and it was like the tart um shape tape which i'm obsessed with i love the finish of it it's kind of got the both sides of like it it's matte but it's also dewy i feel like it, it's really nice sort of satin finish um it really does conceal the things i want to hide without it looking cakey and apparently the elf um concealers are a dupe for it so these were five pounds each and i picked up 
tan sand, which I will swatch for you, which is this one. And that's sort of, you know, I you obviously can't swatch anything in store. So obviously I just winged it really. And then I picked up Deep Chestnut. And this was more of a contour shade. I've been really into like sort of cream contour um at the moment so that's those two i just thought for when you know i'm a bit more tanned or picked up the sun this would just be really nice just to warm up my skin and then i can conceal with these two so i picked up the maybelline lash lift false oh what is it the maybelline falsies lash lift mascara now this is the is it gonna that's the mascara wand yeah it, again it's good i think if you curl your lashes i don't have long eyelashes so i wouldn't be a good sort of person to you know advertise this because my lashes are literally like straight they're like straight and straight down like they are and like they're so short they're so stumpy so i wouldn't say i'm a good like sort of advocate for this mascara but i can i would say if you have really long eyelashes then yeah it would look great but i suppose you can literally wear any mascara um yeah i mean it's okay it was like 8.99 which i don't i literally the last mascara i bought was the Too faced better than sex and that was like 20 quid and i'm pretty sure i stopped using it because it was just too much it was just so clumpy like there was just so much going on moving on to sort of skincare body care kind of thing so recently i've picked up the body blur um this is by vita liberata liber liberata advanced advanced organics literally can't read um this is the body blur um hd skin finish in latte dark so i got it in latte dark but basically so a recent i've actually got it on today on my sort of face and neck area you can literally tell because my to be fair it's pretty much but i just got it because i was just wearing that tint but i wanted to look really sort of bronzed and glowy so i just put a little bit of this on and i'm really breaking out at the moment so i just really wanted to have everything sort of blurred and looking nice so this is really recommended so this is supposed to be 30 pounds i've realized that i've been looking not on myself hold on um so this is supposed to be 30 pounds and it was on offer in boots for 10 so i picked it up just sort of the hype really again i just sort of bought it because you know everyone has said it was so good um i would say like it is really good it kind of reminds me of what the kim kardashian um sort of skin foundation thing would be like i've i do really like it it is it does make your skin look really nice um but i feel like it's one of them things that i can sort of achieve this by using other products so i could probably use something a lot cheaper i could probably use like a moisturizer a bit of foundation and then like a nice sort of you know glowy setting spray kind of thing so i think it you know if 30 pounds definitely not i would not say it's worth 30 pounds but 10 pounds to try it out and for like a nice holiday glow yeah i would say and it is definitely non-transferable i you know i literally was wearing a white top and it didn't get on that and i have white bed sheets and it didn't transfer um again with another sort of like tanning sort of thing I'm not huge on tan and I sort of stopped that a really long time ago, especially when, you know, I was getting really bad, like my skin was getting patches everywhere and I was just dry and my skin just looked horrible because I was just, you know, feeling so pale from like not really being out in the sun too much and like not really going on holiday and things. So I would like put a little bit of tan on and I just got so over it, like so i stopped redoing really that and then i just picked up this bondi sands i mean i've had this for a while to be fair but i've just sort of been using it mainly throughout quarantine um so this is the bondi sands everyday gradual tanning milk i would say this is unbelievable on the skin like on your body this is like unbelievable it really just 
gives you that fresh summer glow it lasts for a couple of days so if you keep just topping it up like it doesn't transfer unless like you've got it, got it wet there and then the only thing i would say is it breaks me the fuck out big time i literally if i put this on my skin will go horrific like it's the worst like but you know what it makes my skin look so good like it makes my face look so good so if my because i wash my face a lot more than obviously my body my face gets a lot paler quicker so i have a very pale face compared to like my body so i do tend to just put a bit of this on when i don't want to wear any makeup and oh fuck me it breaks me out so bad to the point where i can't even be arsed like i want to throw in the bin but i love it it's so good on your body like it just comes out oh let me show you so it just comes out white it's got the classic bondi sand smell that sort of coconutty but kind of smells like tan the only thing i would say is is when you do put it on make sure you wash your hands because your hands won't be tanned but like the insides of your tans will go hands will go orange and it's uh yeah it's not cute so yeah and that was i think that was 17.99 it was something like that and i picked that up from super drug i think it was definitely on offer i went to go pick up like a gradual tan and this was actually surprisingly the best and sort of the cheapest one so it might it might have been, actually i think it might have been 11.99 it wasn't too expensive but it was still a little bit pricey but you get 375 mils and it's with a pump so it lasts i mean i've had this for a while so um and then last not but not least for body is the aveda um beautifying body moisturizer so i picked this up and clearly you can tell i've bashed it so i've been intensely moisturizing my body when i mean i've become crazy for making sure my body's been moisturized because i was just finding that i was getting dry patches really bad on my arms and sort of my shoulders and my legs i was just getting really dry i don't know if it was just from being inside so much um so i just picked up um this moisturizer and i do really love this um i just would say i'm not seeing a huge difference but i like how thick it is there's literally none left hang on you know when there's literally none you have to do like the okay so it's like this and it literally it's so thick um but you really just sort of it does sink into the skin really nice the only thing i'll say is it leaves like that white like a white finish here i'll show you so like like a white finish there so you do have to spend a couple minutes like rubbing it in your skin but i like it because then i think about it and i'm you know rubbing it in nice so yeah and it's got a really really strong smell so if you don't like fragrance fragrance moisturizers then do not i actually don't know how much this was i will link everything down below so if you are interested in buying this it is really nice so i actually will read off what it's it's organic rosemary lavender I don't know what that word says uh are you gonna focus there we go so this is basically what the scent is and it's strong it's very strong i mean it's it's nice it's not like it reminds me of like lush that's sort of like you walk into lush and it's like okay um but yeah so really like this i will link everything down below because i actually can't remember how much this was because i bought it online with other things okay so now finally after i think i talk so much um moving on to skincare now this hasn't it's not been crazy as i don't fuss with my i don't fuss with products for my skin too much i really try to strip everything back and keep it very very simple um because my skin reacts really badly to really weird products and things things that i've thought were going to be really good for my skin i broke out really bad and i just got acne all over again so i have to be very careful what i use you know things that my skin is okay with i kind of stand on that line um but yeah Let's begin by so i picked up a this is my second jar of the it's actually wet because i just got it from the shower um this is the clinique take the day off balm um absolutely love this stuff it's literally full because i've just bought it um this is amazing it 
just takes your makeup off that's all it does it doesn't leave you greasy it doesn't it turns into a milk sort of residue afterwards to so kind of like a creamy cleanser and then you just wash it off it doesn't leave like no oils it doesn't make your face oily it doesn't go into your pores so absolutely love this this is the second time i've bought this um i that's what i was sort of struggling with was makeup removers i can't use baby wipes and i can't use micellar water and i actually can't use any type of breakdown oil cleanser it's too harsh for my skin um so i thought i got a little sample of this from clinique um the really lovely lady gave it to me and that was like last year and yeah i bought it and then i've then ended up buying it again today i picked up this because my old one ran out and i my skin kind of got used to my old one i wasn't really loving it as much but this is the cerave um hydrating cleanser um for normal to dry skin and what i've been loving about this is it's got literally no fragrance in it it's like super natural there's hyaluronic acid in it it's good for the face and the body so where i've got like a little bit of um irritation on my back and my chest um i use this to wash that with which is really good because it's super clean um i basically use this morning and night i was struggling that i didn't really want to be washing my face in the mornings and the night time because I feel like I was stripping my face too much, but turns out I actually need to um, because I produce a lot of oil overnight. Big bottle. I mean, it's literally, you get a lot in here. You get 473 mils. It is 14.99, so it's 15 quid, but I've had this for a month and I haven't even touched the sides. You do not need a lot, like a teeny little pump. This up at the very start of quarantine and the label's fully like just not with me, but this is the La Cura. It's from Audi, it's the Audi skincare range. And this is the kind of pixie imitation. Healthy glow, glyconic toner, exfoliant and toner, 5% glyconic acid, aloe vera and ginseng. Now, what I've been loving about this is if I have a breakout or I'm sore, my face like scratchy, like I get itchy when my skin's irritated, this just calms it down. It just stops it. I just, you know, tone my face with this and this has really balanced out my skin. I used to be kind of red or have these weird rashes on my face. This has just fully got rid of it and you know i'm nearly down so i need to definitely i'll definitely be repurchasing this the hyaluronic acid this is the two percent um with b5 this is you know self-explanatory i repurchased this you know throughout lockdown i kind of i when it ran out before i just didn't buy it again but i repurchased it and i've literally well i use it morning and night and i just absolutely love it it really works well with my skin um, if you haven't tried this, I definitely would give it a go. It's just one of them sort of things that your skin needs. Like, you'll figure out that your skin's probably dehydrated, not, you know, breaking out because of anything else. It's probably just thirsty. And girl, this is going to feed it. Use my SPF. And this is for the mornings. It says to only use once a day. I think it does. Oh, yeah. It says apply in the AM. So I use this i don't apply it every single day but most times i will apply it um this is the age defense moisturizer and this is by origins um what i've been loving about this is so it's spf 40 so it's giving me the sun protection that i need so it comes with like a little cap on the top which usually is stuck in the lid um it's this really sort of thick moisturizer um well spf it just doesn't leave that white cast of like you know on your skin but it just gives this glow and i love it like it's so shiny obsessed which is not that great if you're on a night out because you need to powder but yeah this is just it really gives you a nice glow it's got a really nice smell as well. It's really fresh and sort of earthy. So, and then I'll also use the CeraVe. Um, this is kind of what made me buy this is because how much I loved this. So that's why I ended up looking at more things from the, from the brand. But I had bought this from ASOS actually, which was super random. Um, this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin. So I do actually need to get a normal to 
dry skin because I'm not very dry and I actually do produce oil so you know I think that might be but this is basically all gone I'm very on the last remains of this one but same again it's got the three essential um cer ceramides I don't know what the word is um hyaluronic acid but yeah you can basically read I will link everything down below so if you want to sort of look into details and things like if it works for your skin then everything will be linked below so you can check it out um this was 8.99 or I, I do believe um you get how much of this do you get let me see so you get 177 mils not as much product seeing as you're using it morning and night and i literally was using it morning and night um it really moisturizes your skin and it is super good so i have been loving this one as well uh, that's kind of roughly everything that i will that i've sort of picked up throughout quarantine um Obviously, there's products that I'm literally using every single day. There's some makeup-wise that I'm not really using at all. Um, but yeah, I will have everything linked down below. If you want me to do a sort of in-depth skincare routine and talk through my nighttime routine, then comment down below and let me know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm really glad to be back, guys. Um, if you really like the video, then like and subscribe. You know, I want to get these subscribers up. I want to get this channel growing. It will make me make more videos so I can provide, you know. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.